Hi folks, welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at another Lord of the Rings deluxe action figure with Sauron parts. I just literally just read that as a... <laughs> We're looking at Gimli uh, from Diamond Select Toys. I like the packaging on these. Um, you know, I, sp I spoke about it in my Legolas review that I dropped the other day. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a long time. Big Lord of the Rings fan. Um, I got into the toy biz. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to be looking at these figures some, some 20 years later after the after those Toy Biz figures came out. So um, yeah, definitely had some pros and cons with Legolas. So if you didn't catch that video, go back and check it out. But uh, yeah, looking forward to opening this opening this one up and taking a look at Gimli. He's looking fantastic. And uh, yeah, another nice part to go with go go towards the uh, Sauron builder figure. So hopefully, I'll have that together very soon. Alright, let's open Gimli and have a look. Alright, so here is Gimli out of the box and I'm excited to talk about him, but first we're going to take a quick look at the Sauron build apart. And this time we have his helmet, or head, or whatever. Yeah, this thing is sweet. Starting to give me a real sort of feeling of how big this figure is going to be. Um, I do have his leg and arm here. Uh, from the Legolas figure, so he's coming together and uh, yeah, it's looking really really good. Uh, I'm a big fan of the look of Sauron that they did for the film um, I think it looks great that sort of weathering and Sculpting detail looks fantastic. You know, this is just forged out of you know steel and just pure hatred and anger, just it just has that look about it, you know. His whole armor just looks like aggression and hatred and malice. All those nasty things. So yeah, another piece towards Sauron. I'm excited. All right, let's get into Gimli, because he looks great. We'll take a look at his accessories. He has this big old double axe. Loving, loving the sculpt on this thing. Sort of dwarvish runes. I know that's not technically dwarvish writing, um, but yeah, definitely of their their sort of culture aesthetic. You know, it was explored a lot more in the Hobbit with uh, the Lonely Mountain. So that's cool. He also has this axe, sort of smaller. Again, these sort of little ornate, very Viking-like, you know, sort of Norse-inspired sort of look, which, you know, works. Works really well. And then we have this other axe. Now, I remember the Toy Biz one had this axe that actually split in two because it came with the table from the Council of Elrond with the ring on it. So you could have him acting out that scene where he goes to, goes to smash the... Uh, smash the ring with his axe and it just completely obliterates his axe and another nice surprise with this figure is he comes with swap out hands so you have some axe wielding hands which look really really good and uh, I'm not going to attempt to change them just in case these joints are you know a little bit tight I always like to apply a little bit of heat and stuff before I start playing with that with with most figures to be honest these days you know you can never be too careful and uh, with the price, some of these figures that we get these days, it's uh, not worth the risk to me to, uh, you know, risk breaking a figure just to do a hand swap or something like that. So let's get a look at this absolutely killer looking figure. He looks fantastic. The sculpt on the ponytail there. Looks brilliant. And the beard. Let's try and get a nice close up look here. Look at that face. They've really captured uh, John Reese davies in there somewhere. Underneath all that beard and eyebrows and helmet. Love the helmet. Again, really just brilliant. Man, the, uh, the costume department for these, these films just... They deserve so much recognition for what they did on these films. 
the way they designed the, the the amount of work that was put into everything in the in the trilogy, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, is just continually blows my mind all these years on, and uh, will always will. I think it's just it's so incredible. So he's got his open hands here, which looks good. And we've got some spots for his axes, which is great. So we've got one there, which I don't know, I'm going to assume is just this sort of smaller sort of throwing, throwing axe. Um, I assume these, no, that's not going to move. I thought these rings might have moved. But they don't. There's another one here on his belt. Which, you know, that's actually about to break off. So I'm not going to stuff around with that too much. Um, you know, I, I might even get into a bit, like, a bit of customizing and take that off and put an actual ring there and drill a hole through it so I could, uh, you know, have those axes sort of just really looped in there on his back. And the other one here, it is. I may do that. I, th I feel like I can. I have the ability to do that, so I think I will. But uh, yeah, I hope I haven't. Yeah, it's almost about to split. So that's a little bit, bit of a bummer. Um, I don't know. There's a peg there, so maybe it's just gonna peg in. Yeah. Okay. I think that's better actually. It looks like that may be intended to uh, come loose. I don't know. I'm not going to mess around with it too much. There'll be some investigating. I'll look around at some forums and YouTube videos and see what other people have come up with, if anything, for this particular figure. But I mean, there's nothing wrong with him holding a couple, I suppose. But yeah, he's looking, he's looking great. I love this. Good articulation all over. Looks good. Like the boots. They're really nice. Good weathering on the pants. Even sculpting on the inside here of that sort of chainmail look. Fantastically done. That's brilliant. That's that's attention to detail. You know, the fact that they've actually sculpted inside as well. Most wouldn't bother with that. So that's really good. Look at this beard. Still allows a range of movement <laughs> until you pop his head off, but that's okay. That's an easy, it's an easy pop on there. Oh man, I'm I'm really really impressed with with Gimli here. He looks great. I am going to try this hand. Okay, that was really easy. <laughs> that's what I was worried about there. That was really really easy. I'm not going to pose him up with this big bad boy so yeah fantastic looking figure I'm really really impressed with this one again much like the Legolas I think this one is better than Legolas just in terms of sculpt and detail and accessories I think they've done a really good job with this one really good so thank you, Diamond Select Toys. I think these are absolutely brilliant. I hope you uh, continue the line. So uh, yeah, go and buy these figures. Show some support. And uh, if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you these are these are a must-have in my opinion. I uh, I'm a big fan. So we've got the uh, Legolas and Gimli together. Awesome stuff. All right, folks, let me know what you think in the comments below. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you all on the next video. Until then, I normally say that may the force be with you, but it's not a Star Wars video, so I will say farewell. That's all I've got. All right, take care, guys.